What is up all you beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode. Um, in this one we're tackling, what can you see, these uh, in pills. So, a bit of a disclaimer of this video. This video has been going on for like 10 months. It's taken me ages to do these. I finally actually finished the filler side and plumbed it up. Um, had a lot of problems along the way of just not finding things that I needed and just having to make everything. So. Yeah, it all changed. The final result that you guys see isn't actually what happened. It ended up all just getting cut off and it was about this long and it's just all pipe now. Um, but yeah, if you guys notice, the Lux is a, she's a bit different. It's getting some love lately. Um, Tires and lift and all the badges now are black and um, I don't know if you can spy some cables in. Ooh, where are we looking? Over here, she's got 12 volt in it now. and. Um, yeah, getting all the goodies, all the fruit, so there are more videos coming guys, it's just me trying to piece them all together and finish them off. 12 volts not actually fully done, um, accessories wise, but there's a video coming out. Um, but yeah, I don't know guys, stick around, um, we'll make some info panels, hope you guys learn some stuff and um, enjoy the video. So I went and got some measurements off the car, um, and this is sort of the shape that I think I want it to look like. So this will be, I've drawn off the right hand side being the drivers. Um, and then if it was on the passenger, I'd just be the complete the reverse. So this is where the mud guard is. And then I have a post coming down off the headboard here. Um, and I think I want to have it on an angle, but if I don't like it, I'll just cut it straight later. Um, now, because I want this close to my mud guard, I don't actually want it to touch, so I've just shortened it a little bit. Um, so I think it was 4.30 tight, taking five mil off. Um, and then, as you can see below, this is sort of what I'm gonna cut out and fold. So the dotted line is where I'm gonna fold it all. Um, and I'll score that line on the back, fold it all in, and then see if I can't pinch my mate's MIG welder. Just realised a few things whenever I was marking this up. Um, I forgot to say that this is 50 mil my fold because that's the size of my RHS. Um, the other thing too is I'm just using a sliding bevel to get my angle of my um, this angle here. Now, don't do what I did at the start and measure it for the passenger side. Get the angle for the passenger side, but all your measurements for the driver. Make sure you do it from the same side because they're probably going to be different like mine are. Um, yeah, pretty much I'm just going to cut out around this, screw it up and try and bend it and see if it works. Just finished cutting out my shape of my intel, I guess we'll call it. So, sort of a deep score up here and cut out where there doesn't need to be any material because once it bends up, it'll make a nice corner. Um, I'm just going to chuck it on the bench, clamp on some timber to it um, and see if I can't just bend it myself. This is how I decided to go about getting a bend. As you can see, I've already started. I've got to try and get a 90 degree angle on it. It's probably sitting about 45 at the moment. Just running along with a rubber mallet and just bashing at it, slowly bending it along. Okay guys, as you can see, I've got the whole thing bent up. It actually come up really good. Um, surprisingly, for just bashing on with a mallet. Um, however, I just went and test fitted it and it doesn't fit, um, which is really frustrating. So, the reason why it doesn't fit is... So, this top drawing, this is the tight measurements. Now, because I folded this and the material is 3mm thick, it's this plus 3mm, so it ends up being 6mm too big. And I only took off 5 so really, I probably should have taken off like 10 to 15 mil. Um, probably 12 mil probably be a sweet spot. So, yeah, it uh, doesn't fit. <laughs> really frustrating. Um, lucky enough, I've probably got enough to do two more. So, let's see how we go. So, second one fits. In. So that's sort of what I wanted, sort of a five mil gap there. So I ended up just taking 13 mil. It's been a while since you guys last saw me on camera. Um, 
I've done a little bit more to my filling panels. So I've got a friend of mine to weld up everything, so he weld up all the seams. Uh, also for the driver side, cut in a footstep, got my mate to weld in some gussets. So welded some of those in. So cleaned them up, drew all new holes for them on just the one that I got ribbon nuts for because I ran out actually. And that's what it looks like. So this size is where I'm going to have my filler cap um, for my fuel tank and then eventually if I get a water tank in there I'll probably mount it next to it so I think that looks pretty clean. I'm happy with the angles on it. Um, again, you know, just little things, you know, forgot to take off the height of material because I was working for inside dimensions and everything's folded on the outside so that's, you know, three mil longer. That one's probably five or six but it's not too bad. Um, as you can see, I literally just marked where the center of the rib nuts was, so I just slid it past so I could see the rib nuts and then marked them all. So I didn't mark it up the second time. Man, so nice. I traced out a circle that's the same size as this thing, as this thing. Go on here, and I'm just going to drill a bunch of little holes. Like this, bought some flat wheel disc things for, I don't know, a couple of bucks, and we'll see if I can't make this thing circle enough to fit the filler back in. Close your ears. Oh, I'm happy with that. Okay, this is what I was going for. Just a flush mounted filler cap. Secure it through there into my rail. Um, and I'll just do that. That's it. Um, and it'll hold it far enough out. Where I want it, won't let it wiggle, um, and then I'll just have to fix up the plumbing into it. I've got a bit of fall going to it, so I've got the breeder on the bottom, which I don't know if that's good, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> see how bad it is. Might end up having to cut this all out and flip it around and play around with it a bit more, but for now, that is what we're doing. So I just finished painting these, these come up pretty good. Pretty happy with them. So, both of these look pretty schmick. Actually really keen to get them in the car. All right guys, this has been a long time coming. So, as you would figure out by now, I'm still trying to fit this damn fella neck in. And I've tried heaps of stuff. So my old fella neck, this bugger, Right, was the thing I said about 60 mil short? Whatever, it was short by not much. So I went out, went down a NZ or whatever, bloke gave me hydraulic hose and it doesn't bend. Looking around trying to figure out. It's right under my noses, guys. So Tommy did a tray swap and his collie and he needed to do filling neck, so I gave him the hydraulic hose and I was like, hmm, I want your filling neck because the right shape and plenty of length to it. Cut it down and that's the piece and it fits. It fits, hallelujah, praise God, it fits. Oh, so I'm gonna put that on now and you guys are gonna have to see it all finished up. All right guys, it has been a long time since between when I first started working on these infill panels and now. So, going back, well, as you probably would've just seen, it didn't work how I did it. Now. I don't know if you can see those boxes. I got a new zappy toy. So I bought a welder, so I've been able to do a bit of fabrication stuff to the car now. And I finally was able to cut up and re-weld the filler neck to work. So yeah, pretty much I just cut it up, changed the bends around, put a bit more of an angle on it so it actually goes into the fuel tank. Welded on this little flange thing. So it sits behind the panel, clamps up. All right, so this is it plumbed up. So it comes from the fuel tank here. That's the same pipe off Tommy's Colorado. Um, and then I, yeah, cut this, put it in place, and put the twist right, marked it, and welded it, and that's the back there, just bolts up like so. That's it on the car. That's my cap, it just goes on like so. I am going to change out these two nuts for maybe some black dome heads because I don't really like the stainless look on that because everything else is black. 
yeah, guys, thanks for all the support. Um, but also want to hear back from you guys more. Um, a fair few of you guys come, um, got in contact with me and asked um, a heap of questions and stuff. Um, I want to hear back about your builds, uh, your canopy fit outs, your trays, everything. So shoot them through um, on my Instagram, it's dan.lockridge, it's the same name as my channel here. Um, but yeah, God bless you and I will see you in the next one.